Hi everybody, it's me, Art Dallas, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how Visual Studio now finally supports SLNX files for your solutions. Let's go ahead and start by talking about what solution files look like today. Here you can see my clean architecture template solution, and over here on the left, you see some of the projects. There's about half a dozen projects here, including Aspire and service defaults, right? So the main thing really only has three or four projects. And then there's some tests, right? And there's a bunch of different test projects as well. And so if we look at the solution file here, you can see that it's quite long, right? There's definitions for all the different projects. And then once we get past that section, there's this kind of endless section here that just lists all of these GUIDs and whatever configurations they're set up for. And this goes on and on and on and on and on for hundreds of lines uh, based on how big your solution is. And by no means is that clean architecture solution the largest solution file I've seen clients using, some of which have over 100 projects and get incredibly long. Now, why do we care? Why does anyone even, even look at this solution file template or format? Well, the problem is that when you do add a project or move something around or rename anything and it impacts the solution file, on a team that has multiple different developers, you're almost certain to get some type of a merge conflict in here. And that's one of many problems, right? It's also somewhat inscrutable because when you look at this, if there is a pull request or something that includes a change to the solution file, and you wanna make sure that they didn't do anything they shouldn't have or screw something up, it's really hard to tell just by looking at some GUID. And so you end up having to go into the file and look around and find out that that GUID is actually this GUID is actually this project. And it's, it's all kind of a pain and, and just needless friction that we've been suffering with for mm, decades, right? And so now, I'm happy to say that we have some support for this. And so you can migrate your existing solution file to the new SLNX or Slinx format by going and using .NET SLN migrate, as you can see right here. And so just by specifying the solution file and then migrate, this is going to create for you that Slinx file that we all should all be using going forward as soon as this gets into the RTM builds of Visual Studio and Rider and everything else. So. If we go into the command line, all right, so we're just gonna look at a solution I'm working on for another YouTube video that's coming out real soon. And in here, we're doing some validation stuff, and you can see there is a validate all the things dot solution file. And if you wanna see how to make these cool icons work in your Visual Studio, I've got a video for that too. So just search for Visual Studio icons and you'll find it. All you have to do is say .NET, SLN, and then you could give the name of the file, validate all things solution, migrate, and it's going to automatically generate this SLNX file. And so you can see it's there now. And if we just open up Visual Studio Code and take a look at this, you can see now that this Visual Studio, all the valid all the things, SLNX or Slinx file has just three lines of code. And yes, it's XML, it's not JSON or YAML or whatever your preference might be. Visual Studio is still very much invested in XML under the covers. But this is a huge improvement over the existing .sln file format. Now, just to prove that this works, let's go back into my preview build of Visual Studio, which is right here. And I am using version right now, 17.14 uh, preview 1.1. This came out uh, in a couple previous versions ago. So if you have the latest, it should definitely work. And if we just do a file open, go find that new project for validation, validate all the things to SLNX. Notice it doesn't have an icon yet. I'm sure that's coming soon as well, but we're gonna open that and we'll see that it opened up just fine. You can ignore this error, it's unrelated, but we're in, right? We've got the, the projects are here. You can see all the different files and you know Visual Studio is working as you would expect with that new Slinx format for your Visual Studio solution. All right, that's it for today. Hope you found this useful. If so, please like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.